Okay, air signs, you're up. We have a new deck of cards, if you guys didn't see the unboxing. I'm not gonna try to say the name of it because apparently I slaughtered it yesterday. Arnold sent this from very far away and um, maybe Arnold, you can make a video on how to pronounce it for me. Anyway, so let's get right into it. Uh, going into December for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What would you like them to know going into December? Oh, I should have mentioned, guys, that this deck has extra cards. So it's not just my typical standard cards. It has, like, more, you know, more for clarification. Somebody is, um... Somebody's at a loss here of like being able to, let me draw one more card before. It's like a lack of creativity. It's like you're losing that, maybe not even losing the passion for the creativity, but like, it's like writer's block. That's what I'm looking for. Somebody out there has like writer's block. It's like you, you want to express your emotions. You want to, um, be creative and artistic but you're just like you know you're you're having a hard time you're stuck you're dealing with more than one person here um libra we have the knight of wands in reverse and the knight of swords in reverse it tells me that you're having issues with two different people one in particular i think this started around the eclipse because i do see um a <clears throat> an eclipse i don't i'm pretty sure it's a lunar eclipse um, but, you know, take it as it resonates. This could have started with the solar for all I know. But um, both both these people you're having issues with. Continue for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. For some of you, this is even like um, maybe you write music. And, and you're having, you know, this like, you, it's, you're just not able to get it out. Um, <clears throat> so this is what I was saying. This is one of the cards that this is not a typical tarot card, okay? So this is like, you know, not, not necessarily an oracle card, but it's supposed to just give me more, more information. And I think it's pretty obvious here that this person is dealing, or you, um, you're dealing with a bunch of different issues. It's like you, you're feeling tied you're feeling, um, you know, kind of wounded, like the wounded warrior, but you're also dealing with, an, you know, the bloodshed here to me isn't like physical bloodshed. I don't think anybody out there is actually harmed. I think what it is, it's like you, you've been giving everything your all, you know, you've been really pouring yourself out um, and it's just not it is, go it is going to happen. This is not actually a very negative card. It's like, it's a pretty balanced card, like Libra themselves. But it's showing like what you've been going through, basically. Slow and steady here, Libra, as usual. It's like, you know, you're waiting for that, that breakthrough and it's still in the reverse. You're still, you know, dealing. And we have the fool in reverse. It's just like, how much more? You know, how much longer? This is like, this is going on. What We've been talking about this for at least month after month. So that, you know, I can see this end destination for Libra. Something that finally starts to go right. And, um, and these cards are still saying, you know, it's on the horizon. Uh, as far as finances go, Libra... I, I'm telling you, I really do think that they're going to improve. I know that's really hard to believe at this point, but let me see what I can get from this. I don't know. I wanted to get a time frame, but... Okay, Libra, so we have two very, what? Oh, thank you so much, thank you. We have two very, almost, very, thank you. 
<laughs> we have two um, cards here that almost look identical in a lot of ways, but they're like, one's in the reverse and one is upright. To me, it's the opposites. You're dealing with literally, almost like, you know how Libra is the balance, the um, the weights? This, this is like screaming to me here that that's sort of like what you're going through right now. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five of cups, um, but it's, but it's in the reverse. So there isn't like a lack of option. There isn't like a um, situation where you won't get what you want. It's just that <clears throat> you're in the descent of it. All right, you're, you're heading in that direction. I really think that, I really think that this is, um, like a, some sort of transformation. Like in this card, they're literally transforming, if you can see. So I do think that we're, we might be onto something if I finally labor for you. And we are. We have the Ace of Cups, where you're finally gonna have and the yes card. So I think Libra, we've, we finally stumbled upon something like for you, okay? We finally got to that point where we are, we're gonna start to see paths open. Um, we're gonna start to see things just entirely get better. I do feel like I should be clarifying why you're dealing, not dealing with these other two people anymore. I, maybe this is a business situation. It could be a, a past relationship, though I'm seeing nothing here that makes it look like it's a relationship, um, a romantic relationship, I should say. And with the sunflower, I really think that it's by spring, guys. I know that sounds like, oh, great, you know, I have to wait all the way to spring, but, you know, I can be wrong about time, timing. I, I typically, I'm, I'm terrible with timing. There's more than, again, you're, you're pulling other people as well. You may have met somebody recently, could be a fire sign out and about. Um, this person would be like, sort of like a karmic situation for you and nothing positive would come out of it. So please be careful there if you are dealing with a, almost like a seductive fire sign. It feels like that person's just kind of like luring you, but they're not seriously on board with you. Um, but it's obvious that it's karmic here. This person would definitely seem like holier than now as well. Like they, they come across that way. You know, I'm not saying they necessarily have a ginormous ego, but they are coming across that way. Okay, we have authority here. Let me clarify why authority is here before I tell you that it's gonna cause you some sort of issue. I do believe that you may have an issue at work or with a business partner. You may have an issue with a, like if you're married, okay? Somebody who who feels like they um, have some sort of authority over you, right? Yeah, okay. Could be younger than you dealing with more than one person. So whether, like I said, this could be a job situation, most likely it's a job situation, but it also could be like your spouse because there are children here. Um, but just somebody that feels like you are not not doing your part, not the, they just don't, they don't see your potential. They definitely don't see um, that you're putting in your best effort I guess, you know, and, but, and, you know, you might be dragging right now. You might be like, everybody's going through this like insane fatigue. I've noticed, um, we're all kind of like, we're getting to the end of the year and everybody just wants things to be over. Right. Um, there's something being projected here. So again, this person might be projecting their own issues on you, uh, that, you know, 
people do that. It's very common. Um, <clears throat> if you are involved with somebody, I think that there's going to be a period of time where you guys are going to separate. And if you are not involved with somebody, um, and this is a work situation, there's a very big possibility that you will be leaving this job, okay? And in return for that, we have soul searching, which I think that across the board, I think all of our signs are doing this right now. I feel like the more I've been reading for clients or the more I've been talking with friends, whatever, I feel like we're all in this like strange energy at now coming to this end of this year, excuse me, where nobody's comfortable, nobody's happy where they are right now. Everybody's looking for some sort of enormous change and I'm, I think it's like more this year than any other year that I've noticed. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Yeah, I do see an ending of a relationship, guys. This would have been, so for those of you who have been in a long-term commitment for a while, I feel like it's just not going well. Um, for those of you that are not involved in looking, I don't see anything positive on the horizon yet, okay? Yet. <coughs> Let me clarify this before I say anything. Somebody's clock might be a fair family heirloom as something somebody's clock is gonna break or um, no longer works. The cards are saying you're really gonna have to fight for this, Libra. You're really gonna have to fight for this change and this this um, you know whatever goal that you have that you're going after. I really apologize that I'm stumbling on my words today, guys. I just am, like, everybody's been sick in my house and I'm hoping I'm not catching it, but I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Like, I'm really, really fatigued. Um, again, you're pulling water sign, Libra. If you guys next year don't get involved with the water sign, I'll, I'll be shocked. I will be shocked. I see this person, like, writing stuff down. I feel like they're in contact with you. I feel like they're, um, like, I, I feel like you may already know this person. If you don't, they, you will be meeting somebody. This person's, like, pretty spiritual. Let me see if I can get anything else. There's some sort of communication here. Maybe you'll meet them in December. I don't know. We'll see. I am seeing um, uh, like in Indian descent here for those of you, uh, you know, I am seeing also, I'm also seeing Middle Eastern, so take it as it resonates. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, going back to what I just said, and I think maybe the cards heard me. I don't think that, you know, if you're single, they're not here yet. If you are going through a breakup, there's still somebody else coming in, so on and so forth, okay? I, I don't feel like that's going to be your direction right now anyway. You know, I don't think that any of us are really, really like, striving for a relationship right now. We're at the, we're, you know, going into December, we... We are trying to get done whatever we need to get done in order to start the new year um, off on a better foot. Fortune's here, and the again, water sign. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I do think that for the majority of you guys, you will be meeting a water sign in time, okay? Continue. How will you know it's them? I feel like, again, I'm seeing somebody who's fairly spiritual, but I'm also seeing somebody who's like, um, <laughs> their cup is leaking. Like they're, they're kind of depleted themselves. They're kind of like um, being pulled in too many directions as well.
I do think that this person may go through a loss of another person else prior to you meeting them or when you meet them. Um, like someone passing in their family or friend group. For those of you that are wondering if you're going to have any sort of reconciliation, it would be the worst. It would be the worst. It would not go well. It would not go in your favor whatsoever. It, like, it would go really, really badly, actually. What else? Sorry that I have to sit here and count. They don't have, like, the names on the cards. So I have to count like how many vessels or how many swords. So I apologize. I'll get used to this deck, but again, like I said, it's, it's really new. So I'm kind of like, oh crap, there's no word. Clarify, please. Clarify, please, for Libra. Be careful of somebody who, like, again, I feel like there's somebody in your life, and I don't know if this is a family member, if this is a work situation, but I feel like this is a warning. Um, be careful of the people that think they are just holier than now. You know, just, they, they you know, want to throw advice at you. They want to bash you for whatever it is that you're going after. Um, they're just... They're a nightmare. On top of it, I'm once again with the same deck seeing some sort of event that you don't end up going to. It's really in your best interest, honest to God. I think you may know that, but it is in your best interest. People are losing sleep. I see staying up of all hours of the night. Um, I'm seeing... Jeez, I don't know what that would be the name of that. I'm seeing some symbol, but I don't know the name of it. Sorry. Uh, for some of you, I feel like it could be a Taurus that's giving you a hard time, and I don't know why that would be. Somebody from your past is going through... They're, they're in a relationship. I don't know how you know them. This would be a friend, family member, or ex-lover. Um, you might hear about this, or maybe they reach out to you, though I'm not seeing them reaching out to you. as uh, They are going through something very difficult in their current relationship, and they are using you as a tool in it, which is a really weird thing for me to say, or for me to even get, but they're like... <clears throat> I'm give you an example, like... Um, uh, this is going to sound stupid, but like, oh, you know, you didn't take out the trash again. Um, Betty always took out the trash, you know, that kind of thing. They're, they're using your name as some sort of controversy, controversy, um, or to get somebody going or, you know, irritated, I guess. I don't think this relationship will last, to be honest with you. We do have the Nine of Swords here. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Libra, the apology that you have been waiting for comes with a price, okay? Be careful. Um, I think that if some, if, if this person you're expecting to hear from comes forward and apologizes to you, and you just take it the way, you know, the way it's dished out, um, they're still looking to like, it's like just getting their foot in the door. They still want to like argue with you. They still want to maybe even make their point. You know, you, you ever had somebody do that where they, they apologize to you, but then immediately go, but do you see why I did it? You know, it's like, well, that's not really an apology. So be careful of that because I think that that's coming. You pulled intuition, so I think you already know this person would do it. You know, I think they're, they're probably known for doing this. Somebody's going to have 
um, stitches. Somebody's getting stitches sometime December on. We're looking at December on, guys. Um, what else am I seeing? I'm still seeing spring, guys. Continue. Be really mindful of any photos, too, that uh, you see. Like, if you take a photo of somebody or somebody sends you a photo, study the photo really, really well. Because I feel like there's going to be something in it that is going, going to be, like, a, a factor. I don't know why. Like, um, you know those weird, like, things where you in the photo you can see, like, a ghost in the background or... Um, like the people that have caught like their exes cheating because of something that was in a photo. I feel like that's going to be very relevant to you going into December. Continue for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh God, Libra, I've been talking a long time. I'll try to, I'll try to get this to the end. I'm sorry, the deck is new, so I wanted to get as much new information I could for you, all right? Um, oh, this is good. This is good. So Libra, a lot of you guys right now might be um, being accused of something that you didn't do or you're accusing somebody of something that they didn't do, okay? And the truth is going to come out about that. You, you will actually, it's going to bring a lot of peace to, to you. Um, it's going to sort of balance things back out. Um, I do believe this will come out during a full moon. What is the full moon after? I can't remember what the next full moon. I want to say it's Gemini. I don't know. But I know that <clears throat> there is a full moon that will be coming. Sort the new moons, I think, today. Okay. Uh, this is a strange message. But for many of you, if you have something like um, saved your computer or some sort of work, paperwork, um, something you're working on physically, you know, could be building something. Be careful because I feel like something may happen to it um, from December on. Be, you know, be mindful of that. Like, you know, your computer breaking down and you didn't save the file or, you know, something of that nature. Maybe you just made this vase that's worth $700 and it gets broken. Be careful. Um, for those of you that are going into a new career path, completely new career path than what you're used to, and it would have to do with like the creative arts, um, I see that you will be picking up some work there. If you applied or if you are anything to do with the creative arts, I see that it's going to go. I think I said that last year, last week too. I'm pretty sure I did. I do see that. Um, for those of you that are ill or have a family member that's ill, I see them getting better for those of you that are healing from some sort of major trauma I see you getting better like I also see a support system here for you so that's always nice a couple more for Libra sun moon and rising and we'll end it You're finally going to drop that heavy burden, Libra. Okay, you're finally going to... I feel like some of you felt like you were cursed all, all year. It's not... It's it's coming to an end, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. The eight, and eight. So the number eight is going to be relevant. Um, being freed from a situation that you feel like you are stuck in, that's coming. Again, stay away from what, if whoever was dealing with a fire sign, stay away from them, seriously. I feel like they just keep coming in this whole read just to start some problems. Please watch out for the fire sign. Not a huge fan. If they're not a fire sign, they, it's in their top three for sure because they've pulled multiple times now. 
especially when you're doing your best here when you get the growth and opportunity starts you know they may just come in just to be a just to be, and they drew again and they do i need to stop talking I don't like saying this, but I am going to say if you have children or you know somebody with a small child, I do think that they are going to be falling ill soon. Um, it'll be kind of a lengthy illness. That's how you'll know, okay? Also to those who live in colder um, areas, please be careful. Um, I do see like flus, slipping on ice, things of that nature. I, I'm seeing it like in, throughout all the cards. It's kind of weird. I don't really like it. Um, for those of you, again, going through some sort of emotional healing, I do think it's going to be happening soon, but I also think it's gonna happen when you least expect it, okay? So it's like, you're gonna be, you know, when does the pain end sort of thing, and just one day it's gonna end. It's just gonna be better. There's the water sign again. Guys, I'm sorry. Libra, be prepared for a water sign. That's all I'm going to say to you. Anyway, I know I, I, I'm a little, like, dragging today, and I do apologize to you guys, but um, I'll be going probably live this weekend um, or at least uploading some sort of bonuses. I know I haven't been doing bonuses lately because I wanted to, like, mess around with the channel a little bit and see what people liked and what people didn't like, but... I feel like it caused more problems than just sticking to what I already do because um, I noticed my views are down and so we're just going to go back to what I do, read for each sign and then do a bonus at the end of the week and I hope this helps. <laughs>